Welcome to Draco Band's video blog for October the 28th, 2009. Today we're going to be discussing the issue of how to prepare yourself and your car for inclement weather. As you know, I'm in Colorado, so we've had a snowstorm today, and a lot of people are getting stuck and doing stupid crap on the road. And I want to help people be educated so that what happened on the road does not happen, happen to them. First step, preparing your car. Make sure you have the following fluids and or non-fluid items in the car with you. Windshield washer fluid, a can of de-icer. I usually also can't carry a can of, of uh, lock de-icer in my pocket in case my car freezes. Again, ice melts, snow melts, it refreezes, makes it a pain. So if you have a de-icer in the house and you have a can of key de-icer on you, you can get into your car m most of the time. Make sure you have a blanket because you don't know if you're going to get stuck. I usually have a rolled up sleeping bag that's good for up to 30 degrees below. So I know I'm going to be warm if I get stuck. Bottled water in your trunk. Again, if it's wrapped around with the sleeping bag, it won't freeze, but it will be cold enough to drink. Energy bars or meal replacement bars, as some people may call them. You get stuck, you get hungry, it's good to have something to eat. A map of where you're at so that way you can describe to the emergency personnel where you're at because sometimes your cell phone 911 locator does not work appropriately so make sure you have a map know where you're traveling excuse me for a second I wrote, took some notes and I'm looking at my notes real quick brightly colored yellow flags or red flags you can get them from Home Depot your supplies your auto parts supply store, Walmart, Kmart, there's tons of places to get them. Keep like three or four in the car so that way emergency personnel can spot you easily as well as snow plows to spot you. A change of clothing, a warm, dry pair. If you haven't used those vacuum bags before, they're great. You put your clothing in there and you vacuum them and it actually makes it easy to have a clean pair of dry clothing in there. Put a, Put a fabric softener sheet in it, they'll smell fresh, you'll appreciate it. A spare pair of boots and or sneakers, again, so in the inclement weather, if you had to step outside the car for any length of time, your feet get cold, you'll appreciate a nice dry pair of sneakers or a pair of boots. A flashlight. I prefer lantern flashlights, but you may not have the room for one. I drive a convertible, so my whole trunk is my emergency preparedness kit today. <laughs> Books and or magazines. So in case, again, you get stuck and you're out there for two, three, four, five hours waiting for a tow, waiting for your friend, you have the ability to keep yourself entertained and forget about what's happening. Five pound bag of kitty liquor to help with traction is never a bad idea. Those hand warmers that are like a buck 19 for four of them at Walmart. You shake them up, they make your hand warm. They're also good to put in your boot to keep your feet warm. Never leave home without them. An additional cell phone. Most of us have cell phones. If you don't, I advise getting at least one track phone and a regular cell phone so that way you always have a phone that somebody can call to find out where you're at. Additional items that can help you while you're trapped in your car and or help you be prepared for the weather. A CB radio. Most truckers and local police departments monitor channel 9 as an emergency band. It may be different in your area, so please check. A folding shovel. Again, to help dig your car out. I don't advise getting out of the car. I would wait for somebody, but if you actually had to do it, it's good to have a folding shovel. A toolkit to help change belts and or fuses. You may not be able to do it, but your friend or someone that gets there would appreciate if you have the tools on hand and spare belts or fuses. If you're like me and you have the mechanical aptitude of a dead monkey, the AAA membership is a great membership or another car club. Battery booster that's 100% charged before you leave the house. This can help boost the car. If the car can start but you have a flat and you can't change it yourself, you can keep your car running and keep it warm and if the battery dies, you have a way to, to boost it yourself basic maintenance before you travel and before the inclement weather hits. I always say do an oil change before the inclement weather. Even if it's been less than 3,000 miles since the last one, do it. Winterize your antifreeze. 
because antifreeze does freeze. <laughs> Make sure you have your car winterized with it. Tires rotated and filled to the cold pressure or winter pressure inflation rate. You'll appreciate this. It helps your car travel in the snow better. Winterize your wiper blades. Winter wiper blades are thicker than the summer or normal ones, and they usually have a boot that keeps them from freezing. It also helps keep the armature boot nice and warm so that way it doesn't freeze, especially with the windshield wiper fluid splashing on it. The last thing you want is your wiper blades to freeze and you can't do anything. Have your battery checked and make sure it's fully charged and that your charging system is working 100%. Your brakes. Make sure your brake fluid is at the appropriate level and that your brakes don't stick. There's a lot more than what I've described so far that you can do car maintenance wise to prepare your car. You do the basics that I've described and you prepare the car basically, your car will be 100% and you will have enough of a survival kit to help you survive for a two to five hour stay. We've discussed that. Now let's go ahead and discuss what you, the human being, the driver, should do. <laughs> uh, first, make sure you get rest. If you don't have at least eight hours of rest, your body may not be ready for the hardships of driving in the snow. If you've never driven in the snow before or a torrential downpour, find a parking lot. Practice in it like you would when you first learned to drive a car. If you don't feel comfortable driving, take public transportation, call a cab, they're professionals, you'll get there safely. Remember, if the weather is too bad, just don't drive. If you really don't feel safe, it's better to be inconvenienced and lose a day of pay or not go out than to be dead, period. Eat a well-balanced meal, usually a 66 to 33 combination of meats and proteins and vegetables and then complex carbohydrates uh, complex carbohydrates so that way your body is prepared for the hardship give yourself at least an hour to get to wherever you're going to go above what it would normally take so if it took you 20 minutes to get someplace make it an hour and 20 minutes because you'd rather drive slow and get there safely than drive fast and not get there at all dress in layers this is paramount because again if you dress single layer and it's freezing outside and you are not dressed warm enough you will be hurt more dress in layers to help you survive the cold you follow these few your few things you can't control the people around you but you can control your own environment and control how you are prepared this is Draco Bane signing off Hope this guide was okay. Again, if you have any questions or any comments, I know I don't speak very well in front of the camera. I'm trying to learn. But if you have any comments, you can always email me at seanhauk at gmail.com. I will place a link. Thank you. And this is Draco Bain signing off for October the 28th, 2009 video blog, How to Prepare Your Car for Inclement Weather. Thank you.